Uh, well, I, I, th I thank you, Mr. Moy. I, I have to tell you, there, there is one really disappointing thing to me, uh, and that is um, I, I frequently speak to Assistant Sec Secretary Danny Russell uh, on the phone about different issues. And I believe he intended to be here to testify. I, I believe I talked to him twice about it. But time after time, and this is something that um, uh, the subcommittee on Asia and Pacific has talked to me about, for whatever reason, the administration pulls the witnesses. And I know it isn't a lack of engagement on the part of Danny Russell's part, because um, I, uh, we've talked to him repeatedly about issues. But there is something about the, the relationship here with the State Department. When Elliot Engel and I um, make these requests, or Subcommittee Chairman Shabbat on the Asia and Pacific Subcommittee with Mr. Falama Vega, for some reason, the witnesses are always canceled. And what we want to talk about is Asia policy. And uh, as far as I know, Danny Russell and I are in concurrence on a lot of these issues, but I don't know about further up in the administration. So when I ask questions, for some reason, the State Department, I I'm going to ask you a question now, for example. Um, as I mentioned in my opening statement, I strongly believe that Taiwan should be included in the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Does the U.S. government support Taiwan's inclusion in the TPP? That is my question to you. Can you, can you speak you know, on behalf of uh, the administration here? You know, thank you very much. Um, I, I do appreciate um, uh, your, your comments. And I did have a chance to speak to Danny, uh, Danny Russell before coming up. And he uh, wanted me to, to pass on his uh, regrets and also his appreciation for your setting up uh, this meeting. Um, I can say that from our part, I, I don't think that it's anything uh, preventing us from talking about Taiwan issues here. Yeah, well, I, it's not just Taiwan. Mm. Uh, if if, if uh, Chairman, uh, Subcommittee Chairman Shabbat wasn't equally concerned about this, equally disappointed, as he brought up with the Secretary of State here yesterday, uh, I probably wouldn't bring it up. But it's, it's just a pattern that at this point, to us, the Asia-Pacific region is vitally important. We spend a lot of time of, on it, on this issue. And we want the, the administration to be equally engaged on this. And so if you will carry that information back. I, but, I again, but again, particularly given Taiwan's almost singular, singular reliance on cross-strait trade, um, does the U.S. government support Taiwan's inclusion in the TPP? Well, thank you. And I, I will relay those comments to, to my colleagues. It certainly isn't uh, a statement about our commitment to very strong uh, U.S.-Taiwan uh, unofficial relations. In fact, I think that we have a very strong record, and I think we have a very good story to tell about that. Uh, with regard to your question about TPP, uh, we welcome uh, Taiwan's interest in it, and we have heard from them very recently uh, about uh, their, their interest. Um, we also welcome, uh, and, and I think that you uh, met with uh, President Ma Ying-jeou um, uh, on your recent congressional delegation, but we welcome uh, his steps uh, to liberalize Taiwan's economy. I think that, um, as you know, we are in ongoing negotiations um, and, uh, on TPP. And I think the, what I can say about this is that you know, perhaps it, it's best if we uh, move toward uh, conclusion on those negotiations before uh, we discuss additional membership. But I think that you know, we're taking a step-by-step -step approach here. Um, we have heard from uh, Taiwan as well as others about interest in TPP. And we certainly, again, uh, welcome that interest. And we are willing to uh, definitely consider, along with uh, some uh, countries that have approached us uh, most recently, uh, we, we are willing to, to discuss TPP in the future. Well, one of the most important aspects of TPP, beyond the important trade-related benefits, is that the grouping 
will help shape East Asia's multilateral political architecture by firmly anchoring nation states in a binding legal agreement. I want to make certain that Taiwan is part of that agreement. I, I think it is critical to Taiwan that it be included, not only because it is in one of, one of the world's top 20 economies, but also because it is in our own strategic interest, and adding Taiwan to TPP will allow it uh, greater access to other trade agreements with Europe, for example. It is going to serve as a strong symbol of American support. And, and that is why I strongly support this. And uh, um, I, there was another issue I wanted to just briefly talk to you about, and that is the F-16 upgrades. Um, does the United States remain fully committed to Taiwan's F-16 upgrade program? We do. Just uh, back on TPP, what we would uh, encourage Taiwan to do, as you know, TPP is, is um, is a consensus uh, type membership, and so uh, we would encourage Taiwan to uh, raise its interest uh, in membership uh, with uh, all of the uh, other parties as well. Um, no, absolutely. I, I know that um, uh, Congressman uh, Engel also uh, raised uh, his concerns about the, the issue of, of the CAPES program. So as I understand, uh, the U.S. Air Force funding for the CAPES program will continue through 2014. Uh, the U.S. Air Force F-16 Program Office has determined that the, the lack of U.S. Air Force uh, participation beyond fiscal year 2014 will not have a significant impact uh, on the Taiwan program and that all funding can be covered in Taiwan's current letter of offer and acceptance. Uh, as a result, uh, potential cuts in USAF or U.S. Air Force funding for the CAPES program will not negatively impact the Taiwan F-16 retrofit program. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we, we certainly are uh, committed uh, to uh, the F-16 retrofit program. I think that we have demonstrated that, and uh, we have uh, certainly had uh, discussions with Taiwan in that it, regard. It is discouraging to me and to others because, of course, m many of us here, including myself, wrote you, talked to the uh, administration about sale of new F-16s. So now we are talking about retrofit. Um, uh, uh, we want to make certain that this goes forward. Uh, I would suggest the sale of new F-16s would be an easy solution to this. I strongly support this, but my time's expired. I, I best go to uh, Mr. Elliot Engel yep. of New York. 